walking your dog so you cannot let us down. Sometimes, like, when you're on stage, whether it's a festival or whatever, you are actually just singing about your own life. You kind of wonder why you, you have the need to do that. You know, I suppose that's why some people write songs and some people don't. Come on, join us, join us now. My way of expressing what's going on in my life has, has always been, since I was like, I think probably about six, seven years old, has been to write songs. I kind of sometimes think, well, why do I need to do that? I never really found the answer. If you can find your peace of mind, if you can find your peace of mind, then join us, the mother started for society. Join us. Writing songs for me is quite a private, lonely, you're always on your own doing it. It's quite ironic because as more success is coming, more and more people are hearing it. Come on and join us, come on and join us. La Lucy, join. La Lucy, join. La Lucy, join. Come on and join us. Woo hoo! Back to Mal, I really do feel that I talk to people and just nothing has changed or ever will change as far as I'm concerned. That's why Mal is such a great way of keeping your feet on the ground, you know, and just not getting too um, carried away with what's happening, you know, because there's always that to go back to. What are you, Scottish tourist boys? Uh, no, uh, I've got a band and we're from Mulls. What band? Like that, aye. Uh, what, like Run Rig? <laughs> Not as good. Never actually seen Run Rig, but. Uh, Run Rig? Absolutely. Good band. Magnificent. Oh, yeah. Are they? So, what do you call your band then? It's called uh, Mull Historical Society. Okay. Stuff from all right. Pleased to meet you, sorry. Good luck to you. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Check in. All the best. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Safe home. It's quite funny when you said Mull Historical Society doing. Yeah! Ooh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Who are they? And the fucking flute. I need a wasp sitting in his hand the whole fucking time. <laughs> Frightened animals, but I just I generally just have a fucking. I was going to say I'm not frightened, but I have a fear of them. <laughs> <laughs> I got close, you know, I wanted to just touch his nose, but I just couldn't quite do it. More because I knew it was going to headbutt me the minute I put my, my head anywhere near it. Something died inside of me. 
Hi Duncan, how you getting on? I've always been able to kind of imagine the landscapes or the kind of visual side of it with the songs and uh, Mull just seems to lend itself to that. It's easy to write about something just because you want to feature it, you know, and it's like when you do get something that actually means a lot to you and it turns out to be a good song and the lyrics and the music all fit, it's just like that's when you know it's worked. If there's to be any material gain from Mullis Art Society, for me then uh, it should be, uh, be a house at Calgary Beach. For video ideas, I suppose it works as well. Animal Cannabis, we needed a, a place, a place for the, the, the character of the ventriloquist. Uh, we needed a place for him to escape and to run into the sea, and I suppose filming it in Mull seemed an obvious place, Calgary Beach. <laughs> I should feel more like the ventriloquist. I'm gonna miss, miss the old horse. <laughs> Have the songs I had now had I not written a lot of rubbish. Not all of it was rubbish, but a lot of songs when I was a kid, you know, and I think it's just a process that I've gone through. I don't know if everybody goes through that, but for me it just, it just seemed to evolve. She says she can love you. It's just 
just you just tap into things. There's there's ideas that have been there for a bit that can trace back to years and years, you know, that I just maybe then didn't know what to do with or didn't know how to put lyrics to it. Whereas now, if you just let it breathe and come back to it, the song just seems to take a new life. Hi, Maureen.